right, so, you know, COVID-19 lockdowns are something that impacted most business owners, creating headaches for some, creating opportunities for others. Our guest today, Gary Arndt, the host of the Everything Everywhere podcast, falls into both of these categories. Gary, thank you so much for coming on the show and joining us today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So I I, I kind of want to jump. Uh, we'll jump around in, in in time here, but let's talk about how you found yourself deciding to become a podcaster. Tell us a little bit about what you've done previously, although we'll probably dig more into that. And then what made you decide that a podcast was the right thing when you decided to do it? Um, so for the purposes of, of, of this show, uh, 2007, I sold my home, thought I'd travel around the world for a year. That year turned out to be the better, you know, over a decade, um, visited over 200 countries and territories, became a very accomplished travel photographer. Uh, I was named travel photographer of the year, three times in North America, had a very popular travel website, uh, very large following on social media and, uh, so that was basically my business, uh, content creation around travel and photography. And March of 2020, well, I should say February 28th, 2020, I come home from a trip from Portugal. I probably had COVID. This was still so early on sure. that it was like, oh, don't get right. tested unless you need it because frontline workers. So, I, you know, I, I felt bad for about five days and then I got better and then I just never really thought of it. Uh, probably had it. But within that month of, of March, everything shut down like the whole I, I never imagined that the travel and tourism industry, which is one of the biggest industries in the world, would just disappear. Yeah. The flights, car rentals, hotels, everything and everything I had going on, all the contracts, all the, the you know, traffic to my website, everything just vanished. And I basically saw a 95 percent drop. Uh, in my income. And I initially thought this would be pretty short. I was already planning uh, projects for May uh-huh. of, of 2020 because I thought, yeah, this would be over in a few weeks. Of course. Ho- hope oh, is no. a valuable thing. That's right. Yeah. Well, I mean, we didn't know at the time. No, we didn't. You know, I thought yeah. this was a, you know, and I started talking to some some high up people that I knew in the travel and tourism industry. And they were telling me like, you know, oh, no, this is, this is, this is going to take years because even if, there was some miraculous cure that came about the second and third order implications of all this, of mothballing planes and laying off pilots and selling rental cars and all these other things are going to have repercussions that are going to last a very long time. And we're seeing this today. You know, there are still problems uh, if you want to travel. And I realized that I was, I was really in a bad shape because I had put all my eggs in this basket, a basket, which to be fair, I don't think anybody thought would disappear, but it did. And so I needed to do something. And a couple of years previous, I had this idea of starting a new, I had been podcasting for quite a while since 2009. Okay. Uh, I had a show called This Week in Travel, but we never really took it seriously. It was more for fun. It was me and two other co-hosts. We never made a dime off of it. Uh, I had this idea for another show. I was going to use the name of my website, uh, Everything Everywhere. And uh, I began doing research for some episodes. And these were I, my, the original plan was going to be for like very long two to three hour episodes that I produce maybe once every other week. Uh, and I, I did the math and I realized that the amount of work that would go into it for doing two shows a month probably was not going to pay off. So I sort of put it aside, but I had done all the artwork. I bought theme music. I had all this stuff ready to go, but I just never pulled the trigger on it. So when the pandemic hit, I realized, well, I need to do something else. And the idea went back to this podcast, but I, I also realized that the way I was planning it before wasn't going to work. And in the meantime, I had met a friend at a conference and we were in the speaker's room and he was telling me that he had launched a daily podcast and it was the best thing that he had ever done. Absolutely the best. And so I sat down and I did the math and I realized, well, if you're doing a daily podcast at a minimum, you're talking about seven times the probably the number of ads from a regular show. So even if it's a 10 minute show, the amount of time compared to a, a, a weekly podcast is about the same, but it doesn't feel as onerous if there's just one ad, say, in a 10 minute episode, as opposed to putting seven in a 
in in a in a one hour episode or something. Yeah. Sure. Right. Yeah, that's an interesting uh, interesting approach. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, so I sat down and I developed a format for the show, uh, planned it out. I wrote a list of a hundred different show ideas, things that I'd be comfortable talking about. And on Jan- uh, July 1st, 2020, I started the show. Wow. And I've been doing it with the exception of one week where I moved, uh, in September of 2020, uh, I've put out a show every single day. 